My work is often described as very photojournalistic. Um, I really don't direct very much when I'm working. I try to find the energy wherever I am and follow it, capture it, and try to deliver it, you know, through my camera so that I can keep the story going, tell that story to other people so that they too can feel the energy of the of the moment. Working at Taft has been incredible just because I think the administrative support is amazing. They really invite me in. They really sort of allow me to do what I want to do. And they have created such an atmosphere of positivity and inclusion that um, they're just sort of really excited for me to sort of see their community and see uh, what they do in that school. Art became another way for them. Um, for students, it became art therapy. For students, it became uh, another vantage point for them to look at life um, and how to create it through art. And so these were pictures that what students could go back and look, but then they also can go and look and say, where I am, I, where am I now? And what does this look like for me? And create. So I, as students started coming back, one of the great things we wanted to do was look at how do we support them from the social and emotional standpoint. Um, and art was a major factor that uh, came right into play for that. And it was such an incredible um, moment to be part of. And I think in many ways as an artist, that's kind of what I live for is being there and experiencing these real connections that people are having or losing. We're deeply proud to be able to coordinate not just the booth, but collaborate with CPS Lives to further your mission and to make sure that door to creativity is always um, open and exposed. I'm proud of, I, I wanted to be able to say that, proud of the, of the uh, mission that you pursue. I chose to document the portraits in this format because it, it allowed me to archive these connections and I also wanted to create a project that it can also be integrated in their curriculum and have the students participate of this project. What CPS Lives is doing is really making a difference in introducing uh, young people to professional artists that are working in the field uh, that really care about sort of, you know, their interests and their expressions. Um, I think it's a very sensitive way to bring back the arts, but also hold on to the arts in a lot of ways. The fact that young people get to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation or an in-depth uh, moment with a professional artist who cares about the practice is really a key movement.